I think most of us up to this point have been inadequately informed, poorly informed. You can't even say be careful because there's not a spot in where we live here in northern Minnesota that really isn't an infectious area. It's like snatching crumbs where you can and then finding another strategy and another doctor and, and getting a shipment from out of the country and uh, I've lately been having dreams about robbing pharmacies. <laughs> Advocate for yourself, be proactive. Walk into your doctor's office prepared with the questions to your answers. Then listen to your doctor's answers. And you wish it was a death sentence so you could get it over with. Because it's seven years of sickness now where I, I pray to not wake up at times. From this video, you should have learned a few key facts to remember when dealing with ticks and venturing forth into the great outdoors. Know your enemy. Borrelia burgdorferi is the bacterium responsible for Lyme disease. If not treated early and aggressively with antibiotics, chances of long-term illness are high. The symptoms are many and varied. A few prominent symptoms are expanding red rash, swollen joints, flu-like illness, muscle pain, unexplained fevers, sweats, heart palpitations, sensitivity to bright lights, and Bell's palsy or other cranial nerve problems. This disease is nicknamed the Great Imitator since many Lyme patients are misdiagnosed with ALS, Alzheimer's, Crohn's, chronic fatigue syndrome, multiple sclerosis, irritable bowel syndrome, lupus, dementia, and so on. Know your vector. Five main tick species transmit Borrelia in the United States. The American dog tick the brown dog tick, the deer tick, Ixodes scapularis, another deer tick, Ixodes pacificus, and the lone star tick. The bacteria are transferred through the bite of an infected tick. Due to their unique body structure, Ixodes species carry the highest rate of Borrelia infection. Instead of eyes, Ticks have receptors for CO2 and heat. When questing, any creature provides a fine meal. Know how to fight back. Use bug sprays containing permethrin and DEET. Wear light colored clothing and tuck your pants into your socks. Always check thoroughly for ticks. If bitten, seek treatment immediately. Do not wait for symptoms to occur. Lyme disease and its treatments are very controversial. Bad politics have masked good science and many people are dying. Don't wait for someone else to decide whether you will suffer from Lyme disease or possibly die. Take recovery into your own hands and demand an immediate and long-term antibiotic treatment regimen. Arm yourself with knowledge of this disease. Exercising prevention measures will save great amounts of time, money, and misery. Thank you.